I'm going to show you the lesson today for kindergarten families. So one of the standards that they are supposed to study in the kindergarten art curriculum is about families and how artists um, draw and paint families. So they'll have looked at art um, of famous artists that have painted pictures of families and then they're going to do art of their own. And so they're going to do a paper collage of their family. Now for kindergarten, that can be pretty challenging. They get pretty frustrated cutting out shapes out of paper. So, um, so I have done some things to make this a little bit easier. So what you're going to do is you're going to give them these templates and I'll show you, I have, um, it's just templates for pants, skirts, and shirts. Um, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to print these templates on different colors of paper. So what I actually did is I kind of grabbed a sheet of every color paper, construction paper that, um, that was in the workroom and just printed them on the colors. And then what I would recommend doing is cutting them into individual shirts, pants, or skirts like this. And then they can just come and grab what they need of, you know, how many shirts they need, how many pants they need, skirts, um, whatever. So that's what you'll have to do to prepare for this lesson. And you'll want to kind of um, just do some figuring out um, because there's uh, the, the pants have 12 to a sheet, the skirts have 16 to a sheet, but the shirts only have nine to a sheet. So you will need to print more shirts than anything else. Um, and you want to kind of do a little bit of um, just kind of figuring out about how many you'll need. So if you have, you know, 24 kindergartners in your class, most of the kids probably have two to three kids in their family with some having more, some having less. So you just want to make sure they have enough, um, ha you know, to get all the members of their family. So err on the side of too many. Um, and obviously if you have extras, I'm sure the other kindergarten docents would be happy to take them off your hands. So, and then the other thing that I recommend doing for this lesson that is also helpful with this age when trying to do paper collage, um, is I would, for the, the heads, I would cut the multicultural paper. Um, I just have two colors here. That's just all I had, um, with me. Um, and I would cut them into two inch squares. This helps them to get the correct size head. They can only get, they can't get too big and um, you kind of want to guide them, you know, that the head should take up most of the paper and that will help them to get the right size. So that's a few things that are really, is really helpful to do when working on paper collage with kindergarten because it is a challenging concept for them, um, but it is a good skill for them to do. So what you're gonna have them do is they'll um, pick, um, you could even have them like work on, you know, give them enough pieces of paper for their heads and when they've cut out, you know, five heads or however many they need, then come get the shirts. That might help them to not get overwhelmed. Um, so they're gonna have a piece of 12 by 18 paper. Um, you could do an, a nine by 12, but this um, helps them to not get their, um, family to overlapped. So they're just gonna choose um, however members of, of their family that they have and cut that many heads. So I'm just going to do um, a family of four here. And so I've got four um, pieces of the multicultural paper for the heads and then I'm going to pick um, the right number of shirts and pants. They don't have to do skirts for the girls. That's just an option. Don't they don't need to feel like they have to. They can do all pants, they can, whatever they want. So just um, kind of help them to figure out what they wanna do. So I'm just gonna start cutting out all of my shapes. So this is how they're gonna start. Um, they'll have the right number of heads. So if there's four members of their family, they'll have four of the multicultural paper. Um, I'm gonna do a family of two boys and two girls, so I, I'm gonna do two skirts and two pants. Again, they don't have to do skirts or pants, it's up to them. And then I need to do four shirts. So I'm gonna grab two more shirts and then you're just gonna have them cut out. So I will recommend that they cut everything out before they do any gluing. 
Um, and you have, if you have kids with more kids in their family, they might need a little help if they get frustrated. Um, and they also, if you feel like you might have a certain kid that's gonna get more frustrated, another thing that you could do is you could, um, you could just have them do themselves and their parents. So adjust it for your class or for your students, whatever is gonna work. You don't want them to get too frustrated because it is a lot of cutting. So I'm just gonna get these all cut out. Um, one quick thing on the, um, when they're cutting out the heads, if they want, they can draw a circle first. So some of them might find it too challenging to just cut a circle without drawing it. So they can draw their circle and then cut. And you might wanna recommend that they do that because it is a hard skill to cut without a line for this age. Okay, so I've cut out all of my um, clothes and the heads and have them arrange their shapes on the paper how they wanna put them before they do any gluing. And then one thing, this can be a tricky concept for them, but it will help them have a better finished product if you teach them to um, put the, the side with the lines down. So they would put glue on the, the side with the lines. It just helps them to look better. So if you want, you can remind them to do that. So I'm just gonna lay out all my shapes how I want them. And they don't have to do them in a straight line like I did on the original sample. They could do them um, all over the paper. It doesn't have to be, they can, however they wanna arrange them. So I've got all the members of the family that I'm gonna do, and now they're just gonna glue them. So they, I would encourage them to glue one person at a time so that they can keep track of um, what they have glued. So just have them work piece by piece. So they're all nice and laid out and then glue each piece or each person one at a time. So now I've got all the um, cutouts glued onto the paper. And again, some kids might get frustrated with this process. It is a tricky concept and um, it's a good thing for them to learn, but some kids are gonna need a little bit more encouragement. Like I said, especially if they have more members in their family, but you can always um, tell them just to do, um, just them and their parents or if they're getting frustrated. And then, at this point, they can take crayons or markers, whatever you um, want to choose, and they're gonna add details. So they're gonna add feet, legs, arms, faces, hair, all of that. And they, um, they can do whatever they want. They can fill in the background, they can draw a pet, whatever they want to do, they can now fill it in how they want. So now I have glued everything on and then added details. So they can add whatever they want. If they just wanna add the details to the actual members of the family, they can do that. If they wanna keep going and adding some background, um, you know, flowers, the sun, the pets, it's whatever they want to do, whatever they want their picture. And some kids will have more time than others based on how long it took them to get everything cut out. But, um, Again, this one can be a little challenging. I wouldn't recommend doing this project at the very beginning of the year, um, just because there is so much cutting involved. But near the end of the year, this is a great um, opportunity for them to uh, practice those cutting skills and gluing skills that they've been working on all year.